Hey everyone, it's Ruby and Syrah back with more writing tips and tricks. An important reminder that we will be accepting submissions for the poetry contest now through April 26th. You can scan the QR code with your phone to submit your poem now. The first poem we're going to look at today is a free verse poem. Free verse is an open form of poetry. It does not follow a rhythmic pattern or set rules. It follows natural speech with natural pauses. Some may consider this the easiest poem to write. Now let's look at some tips on how to write your free verse poem. First, you want to determine your theme. Keep in mind that the theme for this poetry contest is to write about something that inspires you. Next, you can use the five senses trick, which is describing something you can see, hear, touch, smell, or taste. Finally, you can write down a list of theme words or images that relate to your theme. Hopefully these tips will help you write your free verse poem. Also, check out this example of a free verse poem called City of Potholes by Kelly Ropper. A haiku is a Japanese poetic form. It consists of 17 syllables arranged in three lines of five, seven, and five syllables, which should be said in one breath. For example, the first line would have five syllables, the second line would have seven, and so on. Here are some tips for writing a haiku. First, it's important to determine your subject. Haikus are typically about nature. Second, use short phrases that create strong images. It's also helpful to know the common elements of a haiku. The first one is on. A Japanese haiku contains 17 on, or sounds, which essentially are the syllables. The second element is a kigo. Traditional haiku contains a kigo, which is a word or phrase that sets the poem in a particular season. Try choosing words or images that symbolize a season. For example, you can say fallen leaves for fall or daffodils for spring to set the mood with very few words. One of the most classic kigo is a sakura or cherry blossoms for spring. Finally, a kareji, also known in English as the cutting word, creates a pause or a break in the rhythm of the poem. Remember to use punctuation with a kareji to control the rhythm of the poem. Thank you so much for watching. We hope these tips are helpful for you in your writing process. If you need more help, you can check out these books. And as always, feel free to reach out to either Syrah or myself if you have any questions.